Hi, welcome to the session on problem solving. In this particular session, we'll try to understand what do you mean by a problem, followed by the different kinds of problem, the categories of problem solving, and lastly, the problem solving life cycle. What do you understand by a problem? A problem is nothing but a difficulty, a hindrance, a task, or something need to be done. In computer science, problem is considered as a task or something that needs to be done. It is categorized by the set of input instances and a task to be performed on the input instances. Let us take an example like a problem. You need to add you know, two numbers. Okay? So the task is, is to add the two number. What are inputs? Inputs are the two numbers. What are different kinds of problem? The different kinds of problem, a problem with an unknown cause. So what is the solution activity for this? Is we need to find the cause of the problem. Right? A certain problem will be there where the cause is not known. Certain problem will be there where you know the cause or the cause can be very irrelevant. And for that, you need to generate certain ideas for that problem. Next, we have a problem. This is an you know making problem. We need your solution with you need solution with certain outcomes. So we need to find out the best solution. So this is a lot of solutions are there with a certain you know, outcome. So we need to find out what's the best solution for it. This is a problem or another which certain solution with uncertain outcomes. So you need to find a solution where the probability of the success is very, very high. Problem, jumble this. This particular problem we need to prioritize. So kinds of problem, a problem where you don't know the cause, why it is happening, you need to find, you know, the certain cause. Okay. For example, you know, I am giving an, uh, in, in terms of, you know, computer science, suddenly, you know, the you know your laptop you know shuts down right you're not able to understand why it is happening so you need to find the cause of that particular problem huh? right certain so problems where you know that you know uh, what exactly the problem is or some kind of ir irrelevant you know, causes can be there so where you have to find out certain ideas so that we need to solve the problem so and the problem where you have a lot of solution which could be the best solution for that right so somebody is given a problem right you know the sale is you know going down you know why the sale is going down the reason is uh, currently in this particular month if you see the trends also you know the, typically the sales goes down right so what could be the best uh you have certain three four solution that we should give certain kind of discount right you should give some kind of promotion let increase the payback concept something like that so what could be the best solution out of it right Okay, so the kinds of problem is clear. So then we move to categories of problem solving. Categories, analytical problem. Typically, you'll see as a freshers, if you try to sit for an interview, typically looks for your analytical skill. So what is analytical problem solving? There will be a right answer to it. Right? So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. You get the right answer for it. Another problem solving, which is called as the creative. In this particular creative sol problem solving, there is no right answer, but e, you will get some kind of useful answers associated with it. Uh, next slide talks about some examples, so it will be clear, right? Creative uh, sol problem solving is nothing but, you know, out-of-box thinking. Okay. Well, analytical problem, few example, addition problem, I already discussed, two numbers you need to add to it, so you have the input instance and you have the task that you need to, task you need to add the two numbers. Sorting problem, here you have a list of numbers and you need to sort them, whether it is in ascending order or in the descending order. I keep this particular thing in the analytical problem because as one is you are moving into an IT career, yeah, uh, 
problem solving is one of the very core in computer science and programmers must understand first what a problem is that develop the logic design an algorithm and translate into a programming language so when you get a problem you gotta start coding itself right jumping into code and all this thing first you need to understand you know the depth of the, the problem what the problem is what exactly it is what the problem what the task need to be you know it to be done right so for that we need to develop the logic we need to design the algorithm and then actually we need to translate into a programming you know using a programming like a lot of other aspects are there which i'm not talking I, i'm talking about in terms of you know as a programmer perspective right okay next uh creative thinking creative thinking a lot of examples are there in workspace spaces where creative thinking has been giving most importance like one is a brainstorming where group of people come together try to contribute their ideas on a particular problem in terms of you know pop solutions and then coming up to uh, some kind of useful solution right not the right answer right? because it's creative thinking talk about some useful answers right next you know provocation technique where intentionally we said you know uh, our truth statement which is false right and then we try to simulate based on that you know certain creative thoughts okay right well let us take an example uh, a retail store no. okay so we'll we'll try to find out the problem what is this first let me understand let me make you understand so in a retail shop if you see in this particular thing this is nothing but you know in inventory control so we have certain kind of demand planning and all right so next uh, this is what uh, is your you know store management item layout and all right okay and on the right hand side if you see there it is the billing right? some kind of promotion signs of payback and all this thing so what's the problem is you try to automate this billing activities in this retail store hmm? so that's what the problem so in this particular problem what are the steps that is involved in automating the billing activities hmm? there were the steps in solving the problem is nothing but the problem solving life cycle yes so here in the first step we need to define or need to understand the problem right so if you take this back the problem it's in the retail store what's the problem we need to automate the billing activity so that's nothing but you to understand what the sale problem is right okay so you're selling the items right so next on this we need to plan or you need to prepare Uh, for solving the problem yes you will plan and prepare for solving so you will come up some kind of you know thought will some kind of thought process will come some you know solution will try to come up with this then based on that you know plan we need to carry out you need to find to evaluate each of this particular solutions and then try to find out what could be the best solution it and lastly you should look back that is very fine that means you are ensuring whether you what have a plan and a solution or the base solution that you have taken whether it is actually trying to solve the problem or not just yes. so how will you ensure that you know, the, the success of the plan is or not right so uh, let me summarize the entire thing so problem well, as in computer science is talk about some kind of, it's like a task or something need to be done characterize some kind of input in sense and a task that need to be performed right So we so I talk about different kind of problem a problem where you don't know why it is happening right where you know the you know a certain a problem where the uh, some even uh, causes are there or you don't uh, you exactly know the cause associated with it some kind of decision making problems are there and some kind of you know jumble list and all right yes uh, where for each particular you need to find certain kind of solution for that right okay next uh, we move into the categories of problem where we talk about you know analytical problem and the creative problem so analytical problem we give some example like addition problem and right the sorting problem and all so in analytical problem we get the right answer but uh, in creative thinking we are actually not looking for a right answer we are looking for some kind of useful answer so in creative thinking a uh, lot of uh, explore 
approaches that are you know followed you we talked about you know brainstorming group of people to come up with some kind of ideas or provocation thinking where you say no this is not even if it is true you say it is not so trying to provoke at some kind of you know creative thought then you look into some uh, an example of retail where you are talking about a problem like when to automate the buildings right so what are the steps when you talk about steps mean you are talking about the problem solving life cycle you need to define you need to understand the problem so in this example we are talking about the sale problem then you try to prepare a plan you try to come up with some kind of alternative solutions for that right then we carry out we try to evaluate this particular solution try to base that find a base solution on it and try to find out whether what about the problem it was talking about what the solution whether it is best suited or not right whether it is whatever plan that you were carrying out as success or not right so problem solving Uh, is is one of the basic fundamental thing as a pro- programmer so it should you should be very good in problems as a problem solver this is one of the key aspect that is most of the, most i'm going to say most mostly the all industries are looking for right both the analytical you know skills and the creative skills having said that thank you and all of us